today in this module we are going to discuss about natural response and force response so before going towards the example we'll first define both natural response and force response so natural response is defined as it is the system's response to initial conditions with all external forces set to zero in circuits this would be the response of the circuit with initial conditions so for the natural response all the external forces or the input signal is set to zero and the natural response is defined for all time t equal to or less than zero moving towards force response it is the system's response to an external stimulus with zero initial conditions it is also known as the zero state response that is in force response we add a certain input to the signal which is defined only for t greater than 0 that is at t less than 0 it is equal to 0 so natural response we tell it as y and t and force response is defined as y of t the total response y t is defined as y and t plus y of t which is natural and force response both so here is the question and linear time inverse continuous system is specified by the equation d square y by dt square plus 5 dy by dt plus 6 yt equal to t by dt of x of t plus 4 into x of t where our input x of t we define it as e to the power minus t ut where ut is a unit step function so we need to find the natural response for the initial condition y at 0 equal to 3 dy by dt equal to 0 the force response and the total response for the system so let's find out the solution now given d square y by dt square plus 5 dy by dt plus 6 yt equal to dx by dt plus 4x of t so we write the characteristic equation for this given differential equation for input x of t equal to 0 so writing the characteristic equation in terms of lambda we get lambda square plus 5 lambda plus 6 equal to 0 on further separating the variables we get lambda plus 2 into lambda plus 3 equal to 0 which gives the value of lambda as minus 2 and minus 3 note that both these values are real and distinct so the homogeneous solution y h t for this equation is given as c1 e to the power minus 2t plus c2 into e to the power minus 3t where c1 and c2 both are some constants so to find the value of these constants we take the help of the initial conditions so there were two initial conditions y at 0 equal to 3 and dy by dt at 0 equal to 0 substituting t equal to 0 in the homogeneous solution we get 3 equal to c1 plus c2 and substituting d y by dt at t equal to 0 plus which is differentiating this equation we get 2 c1 plus 3 c2 equal to 0 so the value which we get is c1 equal to 9 c2 equal to minus 6 by solving these two linear variables equation so we just calculated the natural response now we will find the force response for the system so here we have a specific input x of t equal to e to the power minus t so the particular solution for this equation comes as some constant k into e to the power minus t so d by dt of this particular solution is minus k to the power minus t similarly the second order differential is k into e to the power minus t substituting these three values in the equation and the value of x of t in the given equation we get k e to the power minus t minus 5 k e to the power minus t plus 6 k e to the power minus t equal to minus of e to the power minus t plus 4 into e to the power minus t here we see that e to the power minus t is coming common on both lhs and rhs so cancelling the e to the power minus t from equation we can write the value of k as 1.5 so the particular solution for this equation becomes 1.5 into e to the power minus t. So the force response is defined as y h t plus y p t which is the homogeneous equation and the particular equation. So this was the homogeneous equation which we got 
during natural response and this is the particular equation which we got just now by substituting the values. So as we say that for any t less than 0 or equal to 0, the value of yt is equal to 0. Therefore, substituting these values y0 equal to c1 plus c2 plus 1.5 equal to 0 since it is defined as 0 at t equal to 0. Similarly, dy by dt comes out to be minus 2c1 minus 3c2 minus 1.5 equal to 0. Again, we get a linear equation in two variables and the two equations by solving them, we get c1 equal to 1.5, sorry, c2 equal to 1.5 and c1 equal to minus 3. So the force response for the system is minus 3 e to the power minus 2 t plus 1.5 e to the power minus 3 t plus 1.5 e to the power minus t. This is the second equation which we got and the natural response which we got was the first equation. Now adding addition of these two equations will give us the total response the y of t for the equation which is as we defined as y n t plus y f t. By addition of these two equations, we can say that the answer for the solution is 6 e to the power minus 2 t minus 4.5 e to the power minus 3 t plus 1.5 e to the power minus 3. So in this way, it is understood the natural and force response. Hope this model helps you and your concepts are clear by this. Thank you.